Hi Cancer, welcome into your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of May 2023. I of course want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading, but as we proceed do keep in mind it is a general reading for your month as a whole, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And I do more than appreciate as always the love and support, the likes, the comments, and of course subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. Of course join this amazing growing Cancerian tribe, but as well once you finish with this reading, do remember to check out your other placements within your individual chart for some more messages. But with that said and done, as you can see, I did pre-pull three small money and career oracles and three tarot cards to begin a layered spread for you. But um, before we jump into it, I feel the need to show you the two cards at the bottom of each deck after I finish uh, pre-pulling these cards. The best of the best and the six of wands, levels of victory. Uh, even reasons, uh, if not one big one in particular, to celebrate throughout the month. Feeling like all the meanwhile you are thinking about more for yourself, thinking about the future, about what you want to change, what you wish to see grow and prosper and be successful for you. But with the best of the best coming out uh, for your reading, I would watch the Aquarius reading, okay? You might have that heavily or partially aspected in your chart. Um, they got that as one of their main three, I remember very specifically. Um, but yeah, you're thinking of your world as a whole, your money and career, and potentially for some, what you don't have as far as uh, enough money saved up to make a big switch up, change, an investment, uh, that perfect career situation. It could be more than one thing for you. But uh, with that said and done, let's jump into the pre-fold cards. You're beginning with career growth. Beautiful. So something you're continuing and or beginning is helping you grow as an individual, and you'll notice this, uh, see evidence of which at certain points throughout the month uh, or the month as a whole but as well I feel like uh, what you're putting your efforts towards throughout the month as far as uh, making money succeeding uh, through one of not multiple career opportunities even stepping into something new for some this is growing okay um, you're seeing numbers go up for a lot um, I do feel like there's a fluctuation of pay for some that may be feeling a little bit concerning or just uh, I'm seeing question marks um, I do feel as if it's a very intuitively guided kind of month for you and for a lot it's very spiritually connected as well um, it's a month where you might feel um, yourself empathically picking up on someone else's energy and then needing to cleanse it quite quickly regardless of whether that's when you're accomplishing for uh, work or when it comes to you migrating out and about accomplishing running errands and stuff of that nature, or when you're healing um, or getting things done at home. Either way, I feel like things are growing for you throughout the month quite nicely as you grow, but I do feel like there is an up and down vibe about your finances that is going to feel more, um, it's gonna be taking an increase more so moving forward. I wanna say uh, the second half of uh, May and then moving forward into June. So when you do feel um, a big dip or just certain ups and downs in your finances in the first uh, chunk of the month, don't fret, okay? I do feel like some of which have luck on their side uh, when it comes to acquiring a new job. And this will remind you why you left certain opportunities or one in particular behind in the past. This could also be you getting your business off the ground or being uh, gifted by spirit um, or by your intuition a, a beautiful new idea to expand the current business you're continuing or um, uh, to begin a new one, all right? Um, you're meant to be independent either way. And I feel like people are viewing you in this light. I also just heard um, as I was ranting through that message um, or those messages, uh, I heard more for yourself, more for yourself. I feel like that's again the, the vibe. You're thinking about how to be victorious in regards to what you don't have, what you need, wanting to move to that new place of residence, and or wanting to begin that new job, wanting to see yourself succeed as an entrepreneur more so, but it feels like you need to trust your intuition in regards to if that's meant to be for you, right? Uh, when that's meant to come to be, and if you still have question marks by the end of this month or at certain points as you move through it, don't fret, okay? Again, I feel the need to say, allow for yourself to recognize the clarity, the progression, um, the steps in the right direction will come to be when they're meant to be a bit of divine timing being reminded to you and to trust certain um okay intuitive hits and spiritual synchronicities messages coming through when you feel guided to watch specific content whether it's a tarot reading uh, or to pull your own tarot and or oracle uh, or even to watch a specific tv show 
movie or something pops up on your laptop or your computer um, or your phone randomly, I do feel like this is guidance to uh, receive a message, if not multiple, um, some of which need a reminder of what you deserve. Achieving a goal, okay? I do feel like it, naturally you could see yourself achieving more than one goal, but there's a highlight on one specific goal that you're achieving, and this will leave you in that six of wands energy. A lot, I feel like once again, it's a new door opening for you, which will leave you gaining uh, new levels of success or just reminding you how good you are at something or both. More money, I feel like. Um, the opportunity to, okay, manage your money wisely, better than I feel like a lot have been recently. Sorry about the noise. Um, they're saying this is going to leave you a lot busier, however this looks for you. Um, you might even find that opportunities to make more money with it, an existing continuing opportunity, say your business or uh, through your day-to-day -day job, if not multiple. Um, customers, clientele, uh, new leads is what I'm getting. A uh, chance to pick up an extra shift or two or several. It's going to leave you busier, right? But you're going to feel good about being busy, but I don't feel like you're forcing it. I don't feel like you're rushing. I feel like there's... A reminder that you know what you're doing and that you are better at accomplishing whatever it is for you at hand and it will the quality will benefit by you not rushing forcing it right um, just because you have a lot on your plate doesn't mean you should be moving like the speed of lightning because I feel like that's not even possible um, and one of your tarot cards speaks upon that um, impressive work beautiful so I do feel like it's a month where you are impressing people left and right and you're gonna impress yourself uh, period. I do feel like there are moments where uh, you may even be pushed to stop thinking about something, to stop speaking in the middle of a rant or a sentence. Um, I do feel like this is purposeful. Um, you're being helped is what I'm hearing. But I also feel like there's spiritual messing with for a lot drawn to the reading, sprinkled throughout the month. So yeah, don't let it get the best of you. Um, and when you're at work and or at home, could be the same situation for you. Do allow for yourself to trust your intuition and what you're feeling in that moment as far as when you need to step away, sail away from that situation for a temporary uh, period of time to better your energy to come back to yourself because it feels like the energy could be feeling quite uneasy or off. If you're feeling shaky or you're stuttering a, a bit too much or in general, feeling a bit anxious, you know what to do. Um, but I'm hearing again, it's a time to impress to the furthest extent. Um, and I'm also hearing well-spoken and looking good. I feel like there's money put forth towards improving your glow, your aura, your vision, okay, um, of oneself and of your future. I do feel like uh, any money put towards your overall well-being, your looks, um, your energy will be rewarded uh, tenfold, will come back to you moving forward. Um, there's a feeling of you receiving things um, because of your good nature, because of uh, the good karma you deserve to see coming back to you finally. It reminds me of the other day I decided to, uh, I got Uber Eats, right? Um, and I loved the, uh, the girl who delivered it. We were laughing and uh, bonding. And so I ended up tipping her an extra five, um, five dollars. And within the next hour after I finished eating that meal, a $5 donation came through on through PayPal from one of my beautiful uh, viewers. Uh, so it just reminds you that you're meant to put your best foot forward and help others and do what you feel intuitively guided to when the moment arises and the universe will uh, work to your advantage. Good karma. Beautiful. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles talking about, again, you not forcing it, um, strutting your stuff with confidence. Okay but doing so quite slowly. There's a meticulous way about how you want to perfect things, about at times even a strategic way about how you hold back from perfecting things or trying to control this or that. There's thoughts of, again, future improvement, but there's a feeling that in certain moments when you're accomplishing quite steadily or slowly, not forcing it once again, even migrating around uh, quite slowly, um, smoothly, I do feel like you're reminded of your strength. Now you could be reminded of one, if not multiple past career situations. Um, I'm hearing jobs specifically or a living situation or if not uh, both to keep your perspective healthy in regards to what you have at hand. It's this feeling, and I think this came up in Libra's reading as well. Um, you thinking about that perfect ideal shift in the right direction as far as where you live or a different investment, um, or it could be in regards to your uh, job, right? 
um, you're going to miss what's at hand, what you're wrapped up with um, in certain ways, if not fully, even if you don't think so, it's like you're right for desiring this change. You kind of want things to fast forward, right, towards this big switch up or towards more for yourself, but you will miss um, the stepping stones along the way. You will miss the comfort of something I'm getting, okay? Um, yeah, the comfortability. But anyways, the um, lion within you, so I would say watch the Leo reading as well. That will take a highlight. Um, you might find that your emotions come in handy, okay? Um, and again, it could be someone else's, if not multiple other people's emotions you're picking up on. Um, care and nature taking a highlight, if we didn't already say that. The Seven of Swords talking about how you are keeping to yourself. You might find that the majority of your month, if not the month as a whole, is all about your hermit mode um, or you could just find that you don't feel the need to update people even people you care about and normally would update on what you're mulling over thinking about i'm also hearing obsessive okay there's an obsession um it's kind of transitioning into an obsession um over time recently and throughout this month in general um that change you desire where you can't stop watching content in regards to it i know how this applies for me i have cancer in my chart um, but either way, I feel like this is keeping you motivated, but then you might do something, say, overspend or um, something else that will not um, decline an opportunity to make more money for some that isn't actually helping you get closer to that goal, right? Um, but I do also feel like um, there's thoughts at times of sharing a financial uh, level of a uh, level of financial success with somebody that you're close to could be a family member friend you name it and then you choose not to or it just doesn't come to be spirit saying let's not discuss our finances with others uh, I mean if you have joint finances with a significant other of course that's a different case but it feels like this is a time for you to be on the down low uh, to yourself when it comes to the ups and downs the figuring it out uh, with your finances I also feel like something might be growing at the beginning of the month slower than it once was or you'd like and then it picks up as the month trickles on so that, that will feel um, rewarding in and of itself let's keep pulling okay that was annoying um the cards that came out knocked some of my tea leaf cards over so i feel like things like this uh, will take a highlight okay little moments of annoyance throughout the month reminding you why you desire a change okay we're gonna put this one over here um, I do feel like you need to cleanse your energy, okay? But the in Hierophant talking about your strong Cancerian intuition at this point along your path, uh, the change you desire um, to, uh, to prosper more moving forward. I also feel like randomly, on a side note, um, this might tie into your work somehow, the weather in the location that you are working and or living, how, even the temperature in um, one if not multiple indoor situations say where you're working where you're living even a past situation left behind it's taken a highlight is uh, in regards to how it affects you um it reminds me of how i left behind a serving job because it, during the orientation because the air conditioning was so uh intense that i became anxious it, it's gonna differ from case to case but um it's going to take a highlight in your mind your awareness it might be again a reminder the Three of Pentacles, because I do feel like you're being noticed. Uh, you're gaining necessary levels of attention. You might need that attention. You know, reminds me of me in these readings. Um, but I do feel like one person of importance for a lot drawn to the reading will remember you in a positive light. And this might help a door open for you or you gain another, if not multiple opportunities to succeed more. Um, but it feels like your connection to the sun is taking a highlight. Again, Leo energy. But I do feel like you are being pushed to recognize that you are, uh, I'm hearing vibrating, okay, your vibra vibration taking a highlight, your energy being quality and desirable and helping you all the meanwhile with, with whatever you're trying to succeed at and see grow for you or take on. Um, but it feels like you could be feeling ultra serious. Now, I feel like this is tied into you going through certain levels of um, healing throughout the month. The King of Swords talking about how um, you have what it takes to make the best out of what's at hand and what you wish to acquire and see work to your advantage moving forward. I do feel like you're just going to feel um, 
intuitively guided at certain points throughout the month to help certain people. And this is a reminder of how fulfilling it is for you individually being drawn to this reading when you help other people. We're topping off your reading with the Six of Pentacles. It feels like gaining attention, gaining recognition, uh, being honored, right? Uh, people even spreading your name and or your business name, uh, word of mouth, if you will. It's bringing in levels of abundance. Remembering that's not just monetary gain. It's not just financial gain, but it's uh, that speaking upon the attention, but uh, the uh, growth of something once again, um, different levels of success, otherwise looking differently for each cancer drawn to this reading. Um, I'm also hearing watch your Gemini placement. Um, but I do feel like there's thoughts of you giving back, helping people, even if it did reward you in certain ways, it naturally should, right? Um, I do feel as if that's coming back to help you, right? Giving you uh, abundance as I'm being drawn to this sort of giving imagery. Uh, not my favorite imagery of the tarot deck, but uh, yeah, it did come through that way for a reason. Um, I do feel as if you're thinking about how you are going to discover a new um, uh, transition or skill set for you that's going to change uh, your future. Okay. Um, potentially help you succeed more or just um, end up where you're meant to. I really feel like you're thinking about the larger picture, right? It's like, how can I become rich? How can I maintain my wealth uh, or just simply increase it moving forward? Um, Spirit saying to remember your health is your wealth all the meanwhile. So don't overwork yourself, but don't forget certain self-care routines um, that you're re-implementing or just uh, discovering, okay, or continuing. But I do feel like your knowledge, your wisdom is taking a highlight in such a beautiful way where people trust you. People um, understand that you know what you're doing. It's just kind of this jaw dropping vibe where people um, are allowing you to to speak to them with confidence um, or just to get the job done. Uh, having confidence in your maturity or reliability uh, by nature. All right. I'm also hearing ride the waves. There's a need to just kind of go with the flow throughout the month and watch things work out for you. It's not the most lucrative month in comparison to some of the upcoming months like uh, June, July, and especially August is what I'm getting. But it feels like it's a stepping stone kind of month where you need to ride the waves, get done what you need to, no, try not to force it, you know, and I feel like you won't, but it's coming through for a reason. And accept the abundance that you're receiving as a true blessing, all right? So if this was truly helpful, I'm sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your month and I'll definitely see you next time.